Class, today we will be doing lab 7. Lab 7 consists of two parts. For the first part, we will be measuring relative humidity, while for the second part, we will be measuring soil water retention. Let us start with the first experiment. For this experiment, we will be using an instrument called whirling psychrometer. Let me show all of you what is whirling psychrometer. Okay, this is called whirling psychrometer. There are two thermometers. Can all of you see the two thermometers? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is called the dry bulb thermometer and this one is called the wet bulb thermometer. Okay. There is a cloth attached to the wet bulb thermometer. So class, um, all of you please get into your position and start the experiment. Thank you. It's okay, don't yes. worry. I will explain to all of you the right methods. First, clean the little bottle with distilled water. Then, make sure that you do not use other kinds of water, yeah? Oh, okay. Then, make sure that the cloth attached to the wet bulb thermometer is wet. Yes, you can. Then, hold this uh, psychrometer in this position and swing for one minute either in the clockwise direction or the anti-clockwise direction. So, have you all understand the methods? Yeah. Fauzi, can you please show me the right method? Okay. Thank you. Now that you have finished the first experiment, let us move on to the second experiment. For the second experiment, we will be measuring soil water retention. In this experiment, we will be using an instrument called tensiometer. I will show all of you what is tensiometer. This is called tensiometer and the parts of the tensiometer are vacuum gauge, sealed tube and ceramic tip. 
to avoid all of you from making the same mistakes, mistakes just now, I will explain briefly about what you all have to do. First, find a suitable site, then insert the tensile meter into the soil. When the soil dries out, the water is sucked out from the uh, soil into the tensile meter. So uh, you all can record the readings in Kilo Pascal. So um, can you all get into, into your position and start the experiment? Okay, thank you. First, find a suitable site. Then make a hole. With an auger. Make sure that it is deep enough for the tensile meter to be inserted. Soak the tensiometer with water. After that, fill in the tensiometer with distilled water. Then insert the tensile meter into the hole that you have made just now. Leave the tensiometer and monitor it. When the soil dries out, that means that the water is sucked through the tensiometer. Record the readings in kilopascal. Okay, now let's we start with our experiment. First, we must make a hole with an auger. Stop! What are you doing? Make an make a hole. Stop! I said make a hole. Stop! That was wrong. Okay, this is the right way to make a hole with the auger. That was correct. 
now we are ready to dip the tensiometer into the hole but before that we must make sure that the tensiometer was soak with the water about 8 hour before we using it okay done now Fill the tensiometer with distilled water. <coughs> Stop. Okay. Now put the electrical reading at the electrical tensiometer and dip it into the hole that we made. We must ensure that the soil is covering, covering, full covered with the soil. Press the on button and start start taking the reading. Leave it about two to three hours and take the reading.